Due to the explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, back at Jeet's. Let's get ourselves some ammo. Alright. Yeah, let's talk about it. I want some bullets. We know how to cook that powder, but we don't have the makings. Oh, there's always a catch. But sulfur? You gotta recon a source for that. Uh. And then, something that we can't mine. Salty peat. Salty peat. What the fuck are you talking about? Pissing on corpses. You gotta find sulfur and peat. No. I bring you the prisoner. You get me out. Yeah, in. that was the deal. That's the deal. Take these. Thank you. That's all I got. You need more, you get me more sulfur and peat. Ah. Uh. All right. My scouts report two sites of battle that might have bodies. I'll mark anything I find with red flares. Jesus. Okay. So, we have to find all this stuff, but one of the things that I think will help us, not the survey crew, not going to be this one, going to be, I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's this one here. Well, I so much escape as I just walked out. Yeah, so we got to build an armory at Jeet's go first to be able to get the ammo. So there's always a catch, of course. So that kind of sucks. But on good news, we got some more scrap while we were out there. And we also ranked up so we can even do, you know, the next stage of stuff. This All this stuff is, oops, all this stuff is a little pricey. More ammo, which is good. Uh, we got a new face for Max. Which one's this one? Paint on face. That is a little strange. Uh, new weapon or upgraded weapon. So what's it look like? Ooh, it looks pretty cool. Um, increases damage by 25% and a new skill. What's the new skill going to be? Shiv grapple escape. Oh, nice. So pretty cool stuff. But what I'm going to spend the scrap on because we have 300 is a new ramming bar. Because we... Do a ton of ramming. And we definitely need one. So that's what we're going to do. But let's go ahead and get back to the storyline quest. We need to go take out a camp. So we can unlock. Or pretty much so we can have gut gash. Trust us. So what we're going to need to do. I'm not sure. Is this gut gash's territory? Yeah it is. Okay so let's go ahead and take out. Why don't we take out this one? This doesn't look too difficult not too far so let's head over there we'll take that camp out and then gut gash will like us and uh, we can start working for them uh this looks like the camp up here and they have snipers that's not good but why don't we take care of that oh careful now how about we yeah let's shoot that support why not i'm not sure if this is going to do much oh it's going to destroy the whole thing Jesus, that seemed a little bit excessive. But all right, let's drive through that. Ooh, that's ammo. We definitely need ammo because we need more sniper rounds. Sniper rounds are hard to come by. I'm hoping the armory will help with that. Because, uh, yeah, sniper rounds are not easy. Those are things that you don't really pick up. Why don't we just deal with this sniper right here? As he's probably going to shoot me in the face. Okay, he's dead. Oh, also, I figured out how to get in first person. You hit down on the D-pad twice. You don't hold it, otherwise you'll get in the sniper rifle. And you can uh, first person it, which is pretty cool. Driven around in that for a little bit. It's not the greatest ever, to be honest, but it's cool. So how should we do this? Hmm, maybe we shouldn't go through that. Maybe we should figure out another way. There's always another way. Hmm. Hmm. Level three harpoon, so we can't even do anything with that. What are we supposed to do here? We're just supposed to ram it? I think we're just supposed to ram it. 
How do we... Can we get rid of this somehow? Can we smash this? No. Can we turn it off, maybe? I've never encountered this, to be honest. Mm, oh, we need to, like, blow it up. How would one do that? Ooh, I know. Probably not going to be the smartest idea, but we've had this fuel tank for quite some time. And we haven't had a real reason for it. I mean, besides fuel. So why don't we throw it on that? I don't... This I don't think that works at all. No, that didn't work. That was stupid. You can't fight fire with fire. That... That's definitely true in this situation. We're just going to have to ram it. And get our ass lit on fire. But it's the only thing we can do. Whoa! I ran a guy over. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to. Oh, I'm just going to search you while I'm here. Why not? Hey, what's up? Punch you in the face. You won't last long. There you go, and you're dead. Okay. Let's do this. So this is kind of the stuff that I was doing off camera. This stuff is, it's fun and it's interesting, but it's kind of just the same thing over and over. You just, oh look, yeah, see, you grab these, you ignite the thing, you throw it at these barrels, they blow up, they don't like it, but that's what you gotta do. And then they get angry and you fight some more, you find some scrap, destroy some insignias that actually didn't work. Cause I'm a noob. Okay, but here, let's stand right here and do it. Why not? Because apparently I didn't get close enough. There we go. Let's fill up on our health real quick since we have a water thing. Oh, that did nothing. Fill up our water while we're waiting. And uh, then we'll head in through this door. Probably fight a ton of people. This is a level 3 difficulty, which is explains the level 3 harpoon. I don't think I've done a level 3 difficulty one before, but... Uh, We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, they're waiting for me. Ooh, that's not good. How's it going? How you guys doing? Oh, you guys are going to get war cries and get all crazy on me, aren't you? Ooh, that was an arm bar breaker right there, whatever they call it. Ow. Please don't do that. Ow, 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 ow. You have a knife. I don't appreciate that. Oh, now they're all war cried out. This is not good. Gotta make sure that they don't hit me. And we'll be good. Jesus. Kill the guy with the knife. Uh, I am not doing very well. Ah, there we go. All good. Why don't we pick this up? Why don't we drink the water while we're at it? Got a little low on health there. Uh, this camp is pretty big, actually. Did nobody tell this guy? Hey, dude. Everybody's dead. You can stop with the damn drums. Shut up with all the racket. Jesus. Yeah, I killed the drummer. I killed the drummer. But I didn't kill the... Whoa! War boys. I'm trying to pick up scrap here. All right, do you not realize that? Just give me a second. Let me d destroy your scrotus. I'm gonna destroy that. Would you, hey, do you mind? Off my platform. I'm king of the, whoa! That was a little bit broken. Why don't you come down here real quick? Come on, buddy. Come on. You're very terrifying up there. I'm very scared. I'm very, I'm shaking in my leather jacket. Ooh, you're so scary. I'm climbing a ladder. How are you going to punch somebody when they're climbing? That's just fucked up. Ah, Jesus. These people. All right, I need to blow those up. So I need to find some sort of fuel. Fuel. I'm not really sure where I'm going to find that. Probably going to be something around here. Here we go. Oh, that's a... Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Oh, shit. Was there somebody in there? Yeah, there was. Throw it at him. Lol. Oh my god, that is unbelievably graphic. Whoa, god, you scared me, bro. Did not see you there. 
not trying to trying to do something okay you don't mind I'm trying to blow your shit up real quick give me a second there we go throw that down there let it blow up grab one of these now I gotta jump down over here can't throw it on the you gotta get it next to it can't throw it next to the fence apparently didn't do that earlier when I was blowing these up they were just kind of cool with it being on the other side of the fence get some scrap the one thing about these areas is these these camps is that it can take a long time to go through them all just because you're constant you're looking for scrap and insignias and blowing all these things up and it just it, you get a little you know the layout is always different that's one thing that i do like about the game though it's not just cut and paste like camps are the same they're all different which is pretty cool but it takes time because then you have to go through and find the right place and all this stuff and it can cause it to uh the time to add up quite a bit sitting around here but it's cool I'm not you know i can deal with it anything else we gotta break what's this thing what is that holding hmm the heck is going on here? This looks... Why is that? Hmm. Oh god. I knocked those barrels over. Are these cranes important at all? I'm gonna throw a gasoline thing on one of those and see what happens. There's one over here. I'm hearing cars, too. Driving around. Okay. Yeah, this... this you can kind of see why I just kind of did some of this stuff off camera. It can get kind of tedious. Max, you are the worst human. Okay. Yeah, they blew up. All right. Oh, this just leads back up here. Well, kind of a run around, but whatever. But yeah, so yeah, they, they just get kind of tedious. You know, you're just running around. You're not doing much. You're collecting scrap, which is nice, but it's just not the most entertaining thing ever. So I'll continue to do camps and a lot of stuff like that, side missions and whatnot off camera. This thing is cool as hell. I'm going to take this when I leave. Check this thing out. Oh, it's a scrap truck. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely taking that when I leave. Got to remember that. Okay, let's push on. I don't think we missed anything. Yeah, let's head into the bowels of the camp. And, uh, start working on, uh, blowing more of these things up. Uh, here we go. More guys. Come on, where are you at? I'm just gonna run over here while you guys are being slow at getting over here. Here you go. How you doing? What's up? Whoa! Oh, I forgot about these things. These are a new thing that they not added, but that I ran into recently. They're like these crazy, weird, like, cracked out... I don't even know if they're people. I'm not really sure what these things are, but they're weird as hell. But they're also super weak, so they're not too bad. They're just crazy. Really crazy. It's dark in here. You guys turn some lights on. I hate that they run so weird and they jump at you like this and then you gotta do this and you gotta throw them around. Ah, yeah, shit. Whoa, excuse me. Uh, what, guys, what, can you give me a, one second? One at a time. Like the movies, okay? This is... Oh, this is supposed to be like a movie, so let's make it. Huh? How about one at a time? Take a number. Be nice. Stop coming out of the woodworks, too. I'd really appreciate that. Oh, fuck off. Anybody else? You little freaks? Whoa, my god. They got, like, knives on their hands, too, which is really annoying. Fuck off. God, these things. Like, fucking... Arr! You just step, them, step on the crotch and die. Right now on the crotch. There you go. Ah, oh, God, I hate those. They're the worst. They're so annoying. They just make a normal fight scene that has like a ton of guys in there. If there's like a couple of those, they're just it's just the worst. 
Where am I going? I am just going deeper and deeper and deeper into this. This is not going to end. Whoa, wait a second. Almost forgot. Almost missed you. I don't like that. Those are breaking. Gotcha. Four more pieces of scrap. That's good. I think we have like two insignias left too, right? Yep. Gotta make sure we get all these oil things as well. These transfer tanks. Kind of the main goal. Once you get all of them, then you liberate the camp. But the one thing that's cool about taking camps out is you then get more people to... Like, your people come in and work on them, or people that you're friends with, and they will provide you with, like, not a daily amount, but they'll give you, like, a certain amount of scrap from you just having overthrown the camp, which is pretty cool. So every once in a while, I'll get a random hunter scrap. I should have lit that first, huh? You think about that, Max? Maybe I should light that first. Throwing an empty, not lit gas tank at it, it's not going to do much. What was that? No, it sounds like someone blowing up a transfer tank down there. Is that what that was? We should go down there and check it out. Classic, like, Batman sort of like. Whoa, what the heck was that noise? Had like 18 people getting beat up. All right, you. F Whoa, that was kind of glitchy. Oh. God, I love that one. The arm, the new arm break thing is just like really cool. I like that. Okay, another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. We'll have to go back there. Once that blows up, all right. What's back here? There's scrap back here. We see. It, this really seems like a place out there. Scrap. Ah, insignia. Take you out. And let's eat out of this dead corpse. Why not? Let's eat some maggots out of a corpse. You know, hard times. Driving a car around, but we're going to eat maggots out of a corpse. I mean, I get that things are bad, but are they ever that bad? Like, really? If you're, I think if you've ever gotten to the point where you consider that, you're just like, yeah, I could, I could, I could do that. You're probably not going to survive in any sort of situation. Are, those tra are these transfer tanks right here? Sure as hell look like them. And they sure as hell are. Go get another fuel tank. Blow it up again. Jesus. There you go. So technically, because we've completed and blown up all of them, this does, this does it. You know, we destroyed all of them, so we dismantled the Overlook camp. So, but we missed a piece of scrap, a project part, and another insignia, which we're going to get. But, um, you know, because we did that last one, technically I could leave now. Like, it's done. But uh, the other insignia is right here. Piece of scrap right there. So we got all the scrap. Got the last insignia. And then the project part will be around here somewhere. We'll make sure to grab that. Because that is important. Because those project parts go towards things that we actually could utilize. Is it going to be up here? Let's check. No? Where the hell is this damn thing going to be? Ah, here it is. Project part. There we go. Oil well. Nice. And we got the one thing, so we completed it. So now it'll do this again, which is slightly annoying that it does it twice, but whatever. We're not going to jump down that because I feel like I'd kill myself. Mm, yeah, we'll take it. Ow. Ow. Forgot about Max's super weak ankles. All right, let's run back up. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to take their truck because this thing is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. This thing is cool. So these things are like scrap trucks. They drive around the uh, the wasteland and they're full of scrap. Like I guess they go out and collect scrap. But we don't need it. 
I mean, it is cool, and I could drive it back to the stronghold and kind of keep it in the garage. That's one thing that I didn't realize till the uh, one of the other times I was playing was you can take the vehicles that these random people are driving around and take them back and then use them at any point, which is a little strange. I'm not sure how that works, but it does. But we don't need it. What we do need is all the scrap that's inside of it. We're going to blow this thing up. Take all the scrap. Oh, they got a... There's a war party over here. Dude, come on now. I'm trying to get scrap. I'm trying to get my scrap on. Look at all this scrap. Well, they can't get past that anyway, so screw them. Keep an eye on the car. Oh my god, look at that one. That one has like level 2 armor on it. Look how spiky it is. Holy shit. And he's gonna get out? That's like your one advantage on me. Is that you got like this crazy ridiculous car. And then you're just gonna get out of it. Oh, you're a dick. Should have gone shouldn't have gone out of your car. Sup, 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 and sup. Okay. There you go. Have fun. Good day. Okay. Let's grab all this stuff. We're gonna grab another fuel tank just because we used the one that was in the back. So we can have some uh some fuel just in case. Always good to have that. Store that. Grab this last little piece of scrap right here. God, I don't like when it does black the black screen. It just doesn't make sense. All right, let's get back to uh, a stronghold. Okay, so we're back at the stronghold. I decided to take this level two super spiky vehicle because it's awesome, but it has it sounds terrible while you drive it. It's so disgustingly terrible. But I'll save in the garage. I can use it. So I think the advantage to one of those is you can kind of drive it around like undetected if you kind of want to just get from point A to point B and not have to deal with it. So the oil well project is ready to be built. So let's go ahead. Is this it? No. Let's find the oil well project and build it. And, uh, what is this? Oh. Interesting. So, yeah. Let's find the oil well project, build it, and then we'll truck. We'll truck. We'll talk to, uh, what's his face? Gut, gut face, gut heart face, gut guts, gut mash, whatever his name is, gut gash. And, uh, we will, uh, we'll see if he's going to accept us now. All right, so here's the oil. So we're going to go ahead and build this. I don't know exactly what we are doing here out of, out of shot, but we're just, like, wrenching two things together and put this together. So the magnum opus is automatically refilled every time we enter Gut Gash's stronghold. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and talk to him and see if he accepts us now. Oh, killer. Little Count Carburetor says you need to bust through the jaw. I do. I'm going to gas town. Sure you are. Now me, I know a lot about gas town and the jaw. I we are very bloody. We got pretty beat. You want something? Say it. Ain't no sweet talking you, is there? All right. I seen that harpoon device of yours. Not Ooh, bad. are you gonna give me the level three? He's a little something extra though. Sort of a. Final flourish, let's say. And that's where you come in. Uh, the jaw looks imposing, but it's got a weakness. The hinges. Yeah, the we're gonna need a better harpoon. Be key, but not with that weak jag tip. You need a piece tougher. Something called the talon. And the you. talon. That I sounds badass. Does. A nuisance of a noose man named Dimrim. And Dimrim could use a little lesson in manners. Him and his whole convoy. Okay. So I relieve Dimrim of this talent. By force, I reckon. And you and I square? Yeah. Then we be square. All right. That sounds like uh, it's going to be super easy. But uh, as you can see, I like camps. I just got 120 sca scra well scap. <laughs> scrap. So, but we're going to save getting the talent. From what's his name? I, I terrible. Dan's already forgot it, and uh, we will save that for the next time. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. So I'm gonna do more off camera when I have the time and when I'm just kind of lounging around and I have a little off time because I do enjoy playing this game. But I can't progress through the story. I want to record the story missions for you guys. But uh, I'll be clearing out camps, taking out you know scarecrows and collecting scrap and doing all the, some of the tedious boring stuff off camera and I'll save all the main story stuff for on camera 
So every time I come back, I'll kind of explain what we've done to the car and everything and, uh, you know, make sure that I don't, uh, you're not going to come back and see the car too crazy, but you might see a couple things different here and there and same with Max. So I hope you guys enjoyed and remember to hit the like button. Hitting the like button is going to be the way that you tell me to keep this series continued. And the, you know, we hit a certain amount of likes. I'll definitely continue to play this game as long as you guys keep enjoying it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week and goodbye.